Hello everyone, your favorite Senso Tech Jedi back with lucky number 13 in this classroom management series. I always thought 13 got a bad rap. It's lucky, so lucky number 13. And I just had a thought, if you're watching these in order, you get to hear me say your favorite Senso Tech Jedi a lot. That could be a good thing. Okay, so let's jump right into this. This is a customer favorite. You know I love every single tool, and I say every single one of them is my favorite, but this one is a customer favorite. This one is our launch website and applications tool. How awesome is that? The ability to be able to select your devices and across the board, all of them individually, you name it, you can push out websites to them. And really great about this is for distance learning. Those kiddos are at home and you need to remotely push out websites to them or applications and even extensions on Chromebooks. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you how to do all of that in this video. So let's just start with websites. You can choose the browser you want the website to open in. Now this, if you leave it at default, it's going to pick whichever default browser is loaded on the device. Like a Chromebook, it's going to be Chrome, but on a, a Windows device, you may have a different one. Now, don't worry if you select something like Firefox and Firefox isn't loaded on there, it will simply just tell you, hey, Firefox isn't here. I picked another browser and I opened it up in one that I found. So it will still run it. It just may not be able to run it in Firefox because guess what? Firefox isn't on that device. So don't worry, the tool will still work. So here is where you put in the application name or website. Again, copy and paste. Or like in today's example, I'm going to use uh, iStation. I like iStation. Let's use that if I could type today. <laughs> and we're going to type in iStation. Again, use this as a shortcut. These are You're going to use these all the time. Save them as a shortcut. Make your own icon. And I'll show you that I have created one up here already for code.org so you can see what that looks like because uh, we've already gone over how to create those shortcuts. So I'm going to select all my devices for this one and I'm going to go ahead and click run. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to open up iStation on all those devices. What I like to say automatically. That's a good word. You can use that. Now, if I had created a shortcut like I did up here for code.org, again, I don't even have to have this tool open. I can simply select the devices I want to push that out to, use the shortcut that I created before. There you go. Code.org is going to open up in a separate tab. Now, let's talk about applications. Now, the applications are going to be specific in this first example for Windows, but because I'm also going to show you how to open up extensions on Chromebooks, so stay with me. So I'm going to select these two Windows devices. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger, so we'll scroll down so you can see it down here. But in this uh, instance, I'm going to choose application, and now I'm going to say, uh, let's do notepad. So you will want the executable. Um, this will be like MS Word. Oh my gosh, I totally know how to spell today. Um, MS Word.exe, Excel.exe, uh, whatever keyboarding program you're using, .exe. And you can find that in the program files of your devices. It's going to show you in there for those programs what the .executable, .exe, is that you can put in right there. So let's go ahead and let's click Run. <clears throat> And it's going to go ahead and open up ta -da, Notepad. So that's for applications. Now let's look at extensions. Now this is one of those things that you really should rely on shortcuts for this because there are a couple of steps to run extensions that are loaded onto these Chromebooks. But once you have it set up, save it as a shortcut so you don't have to do it again. Now when I'm mentioning extensions, these are going to be things like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Docs, things that are loaded onto those Chromebooks already. So to find find where the you're going to need this little um, string of characters and to find that string of characters for these extensions on your Chrome browser you'll go up to the three dots in the corner now I know you can't see it on here because of the way I have it but uh, for those of us that know Chrome you know the three dots that I'm talking about up there in the corner now when you click on that you're going to go down to more tools and you're going to go to extensions and in extensions you see all these cute little IDs they have right there those are the strings of characters that I'm talking about. If for some reason those string of characters isn't listed right here, you can go into details. Um, and then also when you click on the uh, extension itself, let's look, let's do Google Docs. And if I go into details, for some reason it's not listed right here, it will be listed right after the equal sign up here. So there's a bunch of different ways you can find it. So for Google Docs, I'm going to highlight that string of characters. I'm going to go back into my Senso portal, make sure that it says application. I'm going to paste it 
it right now because uh, right there, you don't want to type all that in. Trust me. Copy and paste your best friend in this one. I'm going to save this as a shortcut. I'm going to call this Google Ducks. Okay. And I'm going to, let's, let's make an icon or no, let's just make it a shortcut. You know, an icon, it's going to make a nice little button at the top. And now I'm going to save and run. So what that's going to do is it's going to automatically open up Google Docs and all those remote devices. And you can do this for any of those extensions that are on there. It's Google Sheets, anything like that. And again, have it saved so you don't have to go back, find that string again. It's always there for you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you learned a lot from this one, and I'll see you in the next one.